Good morning, folks. Today we've got stories that stick around the Earth and geospace. From earthquake news, electrons dancing in the magnetosphere, a peak between the polar ice and then all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. We're starting at spaceweathernews.com, however, and finding yet another calm day on our star. No solar flares, no major eruptions, a little ripple out ahead of the coronal hole, but nothing significant to it. Here at Earth, the solar wind is very calm. We are all in ambient quiet levels here, and geomagnetism is expected to remain calm, if not drop out even further. The next stream could be another two to three days away, or a little bit more. It all depends on whether or not that northern coronal hole is reaching down far enough in heliographic latitude. Might miss us to the north. So folks, that's where Alberta Energy is located. Well north of that, up near Edmonton, they are reporting a series of small earthquakes, none higher than the two magnitude range, but which still was tearing apart the ground and even caused some significant damage to homes. This is not all that far geographically away from Mount St. Helens in Washington, which took a 3.9 directly beneath it yesterday. Up next, we're coming to NASA Goddard SVS and their animation of electrons dancing in the magnetosphere. Their MMS mission delivered this information about how low energy and high energy electrons interact, dance through, get accelerated and energized. Quick little look between the polar ice reveals that the microbes are active, they are metabolizing, and what that means is they are changing the gas environment beneath the ice. Remember that's where we get all of our information about past climate. And speaking about interesting stories in the climate realm, this paper indicates that the melted water that is coming off of the polar regions is actually causing so much weight to be put down onto the oceans that they are being pushed downward. These folks really know how to cover all their bases. It doesn't matter if we've got major sea level rise, a mix geologically, whether sea level rise is dramatically underestimated or if sea level drops, which they say may actually be possible if we get too much weight on there, no matter what, it's going to be our fault. Last few weeks to sign up for Observing the Frontier 2018. The hotel discount ends in about 10 days, so you will really want to get in on that while you can. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.